point, if there are any structural weaknesses in this great rocket, they would probably show up. An aerodynamic load of 460,000 pounds on the vehicle. It's eight miles high at that point, four miles downrange. That's when you see the contrail begin, right at that point. It's mo moving then at uh, some 1,786 miles an hour. Then in two minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, the inboard engines cut off, and just uh, 20 seconds later, the outboard engine of the uh, uh, S-1C, uh, the first stage of the rocket, it's then 40 miles high, 44 miles downrange. Uh, then the separation of the first stage and the ignition of the second stage, two minutes and 43 seconds into the flight. And uh, we see the launch escape system. We've seen it jettison in the past at three minutes and 17 seconds. The second stage cuts off at seven minutes and 40 seconds. The vehicle then 111 miles downrange, or uh, high, and 700 miles downrange, almost in its orbital height. And we have seen that far in the past uh, with uh, these remarkable long lens cameras here. Uh, we may not be able to see that today because of the cloud cover. The third stage then ignites at uh, nine minutes into the flight, and uh, they're well on their way into orbit, and shortly thereafter, uh, in the second orbit around the Earth, into the translunar flight. Jack King of uh, Launch Control here, who will be giving us the countdown from this moment. He is uh, giving that countdown now, and it is at just three minutes before launch. Let's listen to Jack King. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We've just passed the three-minute mark. We've had the firing command. That's the signal that the automatic sequence is now in. And the rest, the remainder of the count, will be handled by the master computer here in the firing room as uh, various of events click off leading up to the ignition of the five engines in the first stage of the Saturn V at the zero, uh, with liftoff at the zero mark in the count. The actual ignition of those five engines will come at uh, 8.9 seconds in the count. We'll have a report of all engines running at the two-second mark. Uh, at that time, uh, and over the next two seconds, those engines will be uh, specially checked to assure that we have proper thrust. Once that occurs, we will get commit, meaning that the hold-down arms can release, and we will get liftoff of uh, the Saturn V launch vehicle atop seven and a half million pounds of thrust. We're now coming up toward the two minute mark in the count at this point, the tanks in the vehicle pressurizing. Two minutes and counting. Our status board indicates uh, here in the control room that all aspects uh, involved are uh, ready. Tom Stafford has just reported back uh, thank, uh, that they want to thank everybody for all the help. We're now at T minus one minute, 45 seconds.